every year millions of pilgrims come here to the Basilica of St. Anthony. Many of them come to ask uh, the grace of uh, healing, recover harmony within the family, find a job, obtain justice, find Mr. or Mrs. or Mrs. Wright, or the grace of a child. Many of these people later return with flowers, candles, or photos as a token of gratitude to their beloved saint. A few weeks ago, I met Julia precisely here, where I am now. Some years ago, when her child was about six months old, Julia was a young single mother, homeless and unemployed. Her parents were living in the Republic of Kosovo, a little state near Albania, but uh, she didn't want to go back home because uh, she would become the butt of criticism uh, from her friends and relatives for being a loser. So Julia chose to remain in Padua, living on the edge. She survived uh, by seeking shelter from various vagrants like herself, by begging in the streets and by stealing from supermarkets and stores. For some time, her child had not been well and was crying all the time. He was anemic and in urgent need of warmth and nourishing food. And she was in need of a proper meal herself, but she didn't want to go to a charity organization because she was afraid of losing custody of her child. After roaming aimlessly around the streets of Padua for a long, long time, she eventually decided to enter the Basilica of St. Anthony in order to rest and warm up her child and herself. It was two o'clock on a cold February afternoon and the shrine was relatively empty. Julia sat uh, at a pew next to St. Anthony's tomb and started to pray for his help. However, she felt so unworthy, so out of place in such a holy environment that she ran out of the basilica to avert an emotional breakdown. She kept on uh, walking, walking along the road, holding the child tight in, his, in her arms, all the while pleading with St. Anthony to help, praying to him in her desperate situation. When suddenly she saw something rolling, you know, rolling along the pavement. Was it uh, a shrunken leaf uh, whirling in the wind? Oh, or was it a yellow strip of paper, perhaps uh, somebody shopping list, who knows? She picked it up. Julia couldn't believe her eyes. It was a 50 pound note that someone had lost, but who? The road was completely empty. Julia told me that uh, she was sure that that note was a gift from above. St. Anthony had answered her prayer. The moment of desperation had passed, and now only hope filled her heart. With that money, she would be able to buy nourishing food for her son and herself, and also, also, maybe a little toy for him. Her baby would surely be healed, and somehow she would find a job. In that unexpected gift from above, there was much more than a little sum of money there was the chance of a new start in life. And I'm pleased to tell you now that Julia is married to a good and reliable man, she works part-time and their little boy is happy and healthy. Needless to say, she often comes here to the Basilica of St. Anthony to visit her friend. One of the, the most touching aspects in St. Anthony's life was his extraordinary love for the poor, expressed most often by his feeding the hungry. And this is why, why traditionally we Franciscans worldwide distribute small loaves of bread on St. Anthony's feast day. It is a gentle reminder to follow his holy example. And so let us pray, brothers and sisters. Glorious St. Anthony, Father of the poor, 
teach us to follow your example in aiding the destitute. May our offering help all those who suffer. We offer our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.